welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the beautiful world of Cookie Craft. Of course I died. Oh, <laughs> this is really awkward. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I noticed Alec was on the server and decided that I should hop on. Now, Alec specifically told me he did not want to hop in a call. So it made me a little bit sus, and I decided that I had to get on the server, at the very least, to protect whatever he planned on doing. So this was perfect timing. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Cookie Craft. And also, I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but happy 2021 to everybody. Happy New Year. Uh, comment whatever your plans are for the new year down below. My plans are as follows. Hit 5 million subscribers. I have no idea if that's possible, but if you guys can help out, tell every single person on the planet who subscribed to this channel right now. Also, I really would like to try and eat 1 million cookies in a year. Um, I did the math, and that's like only a couple thousand per day. It's like 3,300. So, I don't know if I can do it without dying, but I'm gonna try. Also, guys, you have been crushing the support on this series. Every single episode gets like 20,000 likes. So, to celebrate the new year, let's go for 20 thousand and twenty one likes now it looks like the sun is going down but before it does i would love to name a few of my dragons in the last episode you guys left some name suggestions for our butterfly leviathan and also some of our brand new dragon dogs so if we check this out it looks like uh next page info boy wanted the butterfly leviathan to be named tidal wave which is sick and ks munda wanted some of the dragon dogs to be named killer red cookie legend and dangerous Red. Now, I should have some name tags around here, so we should be able to do this. We got Tidal Wave, Lit, Killer Red, Super Lit, Danger Red, Extremely Lit, and then Cookie Legend, my favorite. Now, for those of you guys that haven't seen any of the episodes of Cookie Craft Season 2, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but don't worry. Um, Yeah, here are some of my dragons. We have Emerald, we also have Yoshi, and then uh, we got a little cookie over here. These are my overworld drakes, and then moving down we have a chicken farm which will probably end up getting moved eventually but this is the important part we have our dragon dogs that are the cutest little things ever in today's episode we're actually going to be getting some wyvern dragons which are similar to these guys in terms of size but they actually are able to fly and i'm pretty sure they have poisonous tails so let's see a lot of these aren't named just we have one named sergeant rudolph so let's see uh you can be killer red <laughs> you can be danger red and you can be Cookie Legend. I love how we're naming them like Killer and Danger when these things are basically just tiny little puppies. Though they do pack a punch, especially when they have diamond swords in their mouths and they can just swing it back and forth. Let's also get out our Butterfly Leviathan. Apparently it's not safe here. Is it safe out here, server? Oh yes, very safe. Okay, this is easily my biggest dragon, which is why I love the name Tidal Wave. That is basically what this thing is in dragon form. Now you guys also commented that if I add, I believe it's a conduit to his inventory, um, I would actually be able to summon in infinite lightning. I don't know if Alex seen his new statue. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, I just remembered too. In a previous episode, I accidentally, maybe on purpose, put a uh, a wild dragon inside of his house. It was a present though, so it was a uh, it was a gift, and he can't be mad about that. Want to sleep, boy? Come on, it's really fun. <laughs> Wait a second, he said I do. Oh no, what has he gotten himself into? There's a dragon in my house. <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas! <laughs> I got you your very own dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, Alec doesn't know how to tame it. Oh, I feel a little bit responsible here, but if he could figure out how to tame it, then boom, I actually got him his very own first dragon. Okay, sweet. It looks like he actually found himself a bed. <laughs> I can't wait to see his episode where he's trying to get rid of this dragon. Just please go check out his channel. It's the, the Siren. It'll be linked down below in the description. All right, we got some presents. Why do these presents hate my guts? But I think we can officially get into the objective of today's episode, which is to get a Canary Wyvern. Now, in order to do this, I did a little bit of research and I need to get my hands on some sweet berries. Now, I'm not entirely sure where I can find sweet berries. Um, I just remember... Uh, uh, oh, 
Wait, Alex talking to me? He spawns me in that. Let's go just have a little peek see at what Alex doing before I go on my adventure to get even more dragons to rub in his face. All right, um, I found him. Does he need help getting the dragon out of his house? <laughs> well, hello there, dragon. Oh no! Oh my gosh! This is way too good. Okay, I'll see if he needs help. Oh, he said he said he doesn't need help. He's a big boy. Um, I'll I'll give him a hint. Use a saddle on it. Winky face. Okay, that is all the hints I will give him. <laughs> he said he doesn't trust me. Oh wait, he said okay. All right. If he does listen to me, he'll actually get the dragon. So I I, I really hope he does. Actually, I hope he does it. Can I use this? Whoa! I can use this crafting golem as a crafting bench. Well, that's interesting. All right, focus, Jackery. The first objective of the day. Get sweet, sweet berries. Oh, we got more dragons over here. Oh, I really want to tame them, but I'm fresh out of saddles. It just roared in my face. That was very disrespectful. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna light them up just, just a little. Just a little, little flamethrower on. Just, just a tad. Nothing personal. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here. Okay, so I have a new idea. I've traveled around a lot using the different waystones, so I'm thinking that if I just teleport to a bunch of them, then maybe out in the distance I can find my sweet berries or my sweet, sweet swamp biome. Nothing here. Let's go to... I don't even know where this is. There has to be sweet berries around here, right? <gasps> sweet berries! Let's go! Oh, sweet berries hurt. Stop it, sweet berries. I don't want to give you a hug. You are dangerous. You are sharp. Oh, this was perfect. It was right next to the waystone. I had no idea. There's actually a lot of these things, and I'm pretty sure Sure they'll grow back as well so i can come back here and get just tons and tons of berries for my dragons but there's still no swamp biome so we're gonna have to keep going on the lookout that looks uh, like a, like a tad bit like a swamp but it is still definitely not a swamp we've officially made it back to cookie city um oh wait, is that alec over there i think that might be alec okay we'll keep an eye on him but still no swamp let's go to morsador nothing it is so difficult to find a swamp so i've been officially flying around for a day looking for a swamp. Um, I'm still not done, but I thought this was pretty neat. There's a butterfly leviathan down there just going crazy on this ocean temple. Okay, okay, I, I definitely do not want to land because I think I might die. I'm a little bit out of my element here. Okay, okay, yep, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave you alone. Don't worry about it. No, do not roar back, Big Red. We do not want to fight that thing. Wait a second, let's go! Hold up. What's the boss bar at the top of the screen doing there? Um, okay. There's a ginormous castle over here and there's a boss called the king i don't know if this is a dungeon or this is part of like greek mythology what there's guards they look like little toy soldiers from up here all right all right chill nope don't want any parts of that right about now now let's see if i can find a waypoint this would be perfect because this swamp is massive so i could come back here whenever and get more wyverns ew dude wait what's this over here there's like blood in the water i don't know what it is i just i'm going to approach slowly. Eh, oh my gosh, wait, there's a waystone in there, but everything's getting real foggy, like to the point where I just can't see. Um, do I go for it? Hold on. Yeah, I think I have to here. Okay, we're just gonna go in slowly and steadily. I don't see anything around. Let's go ahead. Okay, we got it. We got it. Big Red, fly the heck out of here. Let's see. It says, oh, it's a vampire forest. I do not want any parts of that right now. I can't even see. Where am I? So when you're in the forest, you actually lose all vision. I guess unless you're a vampire, then you could probably see. And we also have this over here. Whoa. Okay, there is 1,000% a ginormous king boss right on top. If you guys want me to fight that, be sure to go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, I'm a little bit scared of it. Maybe if I get some more desert or no, no, like canary wyverns, we should maybe have a better chance. Okay, this is actually my first time in a swamp biome. So let's put away big red so we don't scare anything. What is this? Oh, there's frogs? Bro, I want you to be my pet frog. That looks nothing like a frog, but I love it. See if I can find some secret loot. Definitely definitely did. There's sweet berries in here. I didn't even have to find my own sweet berries. Now, the one thing we're looking for, where we have to put on our uh, nature geographic channel goggles to find it, are the desert... I keep calling them desert wyverns. I don't know why. I don't even think there are desert wyverns. These are canary wyverns. Now, the weird thing about these guys is they will either attack you or run away. And you actually have to chase them when they run away as many times as you possibly can until they eventually gain your trust. And that's when you can shove a lot of sweet berries inside their mouth to love you. See, look, this guy, I didn't even get close, but he got scared and flew all the way away. So what I have to do is track it down, and then when it lands, try to get close, and then just keep feeding it. Oh, <gasps> it's up there, it's up there, it's up there! Hold up, hold up, 
Oh my gosh, you're in a tree? Really? Oh wait, I can feed it. Come on, come on. Yes. Yo, I got it in the tree. Okay, buddy. Now you can come down. You don't have to be scared. Let's see. If I walk away, hopefully it follows me. Oh, wait, maybe if I punch this frog in the spleen, it'll attack. <gasps> Whoa, it just jumped on my head. So like I was saying, these things are about the size of the dragon dogs, except the cool thing about these is that they actually have wings and on their tails, they have poisonous barbs. So every time that they hit something with their tail, it'll poison it. So let's see. Oh, 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 it's attacking the frog. <laughs> yes. Let's go. It actually likes me now. Did you guys see how it like stabbed it with its tail? And I didn't even realize that I'm able to just put it right on my head. I'm actually able to breed these things too. So if I can find another one, then we should be set. I, sh I don't necessarily have to come back here unless I want to tame another wild one. But the only issue is going to be finding one. This was the only one that I saw flying around for like the past 10 minutes. And we're racing against the clock too. If it turns nighttime in the swamp, I don't even want to know what sort of strange zoo creatures are gonna come out of nowhere. So this is new. Uh, one of the mods, I guess, adds in swamp water. I don't want to go in there. There's probably a crocodile or it's just poop. Don't swim in poop, kids. It's not healthy. I walked into a nest by accident. This thing is right on my tail. No, no, no. Please, please, please. Okay, okay. We can talk about this. Oh, this is terrible. I actually might die to this thing. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I have to get out of the swamp, I think, in order to get this thing off my tail. It actually killed me. Wait a second. That means that they're probably fighting too. Wait, actually, I hope not. I hope that they're just friends. Um, And since it killed me, mine technically shouldn't attack. So as long as I can find mine, then we might actually be able to still tame the other one. That is, if I can find it in this massive swamp. Is this a baby turtle? It is. Ah, I want it. There's no time. We got to get back to our dragon. I just have to move it super slow. It's okay. No, no, no. It's fine. It, yeah, everything's perfectly fine. I got sweet, sweet berries that you want to eat. No, stop running. Where'd it go? I keep losing it. Hey, what is that? Oh, it's a dryad. That's not what I want. It's getting nighttime too. This is the worst. Oh, I see it's flying right here. Hold on, feed it, feed it. No, no, I can't see. I literally can't see. I'm trying to feed it. I'm planting the seeds. I'm actually planting it. Now this is the worst thing ever. The zombies too. You have to be joking. I have to get out of here. Oh my gosh, I'm going to die again, aren't I? No, 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 please don't let me die. Um, wait, where did, no. No, my canary jumped off of my head. I don't know where they are. I just fell in a hole. Wait, is my canary here? Okay, at this point, I think I should just get my canary, cut my losses, and run. Oh my gosh, it's actually fighting for me. Please protect me. <laughs> I'm so lost out here. One more hit. Come on, just one more. Actually, I guess I'll do it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I managed to get to somewhat of a safe spot Um, for now. We're right next to the vampire forest. I honestly don't think it's a good idea to go in right now. I'm also not sure if when I teleport back using the waypoints, um, if my wyvern will teleport with me so we might have to walk back yeah um we're gonna have to figure that out in the next episode be sure to subscribe so you guys do not miss out on that uh this is the first episode i'm leaving out you're leaving off in like the middle of nowhere so yeah hopefully i figure it out i hope you guys enjoyed my name is beck bro jack and i will hopefully see you guys all back again here very soon for a new episode peace out dudes